Hi, <laughs> I'm going to tell you a story about Peter Tan's ridiculous tiny advert for a maid. This story goes back to the days when I attended Tabernacle of Glory in the early 1990s. Today, Peter Tan calls himself Pastor Johan Melchizedek Peter Tan. <laughs> anyway, once he thought he had discovered this thing called a quirk and would win a Nobel Prize. Uh, but let's leave his grandiose name for now and let me tell you the story of how he advertised for a maid for his family back then. As far as I can remember, his wife, whom we called Sister Amy, was to take care of their children. Their children, a boy and a girl, were around five years old then. While the daughter was old enough to sit quietly in children's church by herself, the little boy was restless and demanded his mother's attention constantly. Now, Sister Amy has a heart for Christian children and was in charge of the children's church. But with her busy raising her children, she did not have time for that anymore. And I think Peter Tan also did not allow her to be so involved in church work. I remember him telling her that her duty was to their children solely. However, Sister Amy dearly wanted to be more involved in teaching children at church. So she asked for a maid to help look after their children. Peter Tan, of course, said no. Still, Amy must have pleaded till he agreed because one day, at the end of the church service, I finished my work at Children's Church and made my way to the main church hall. A friend of mine brought me to the church bulletin board and pointed out an advertisement to me. There, on a piece of paper no bigger than a post-it note, was an advertisement for a maid. It was handwritten by Peter Tan, detailing the work and the kind of woman he expected of the maid. The many criteria set for the maid were more suitable for a saint. My friend and I laughed at the size of the advertisement. It was clearly small because Peter Tan obviously had no intention of hiring a maid for his family. Without a second thought, I took down the advertisement. I took it to the office and copied the advertisement word for word on the computer and printed them in, a, in big letters on an A4 size paper. The following Sunday, I pinned it on the bulletin board. Now, here was an eye-catching advertisement for made for the pastor's family. After church service that day, I was summoned by Peter Tan. He took down my big advertisement and demanded his small advertisement back. I protested and said, how is anyone going to see your small advert? Nevertheless, he put his small advert back on the board and walked off. Not to be outdone, I stood next to Peter Tan's small advert and pointed it out to everyone who walked past me that day. <laughs> the church members were making their way home and as they walked past the bulletin board, I called out to them, Hey brother, have you seen this advert? Peter Tan is uh, looking for a maid. Hey, sister so and so, pastor is looking for a maid. Take a look at this advert. Or, sister, have you heard of someone who would like to be pastor's maid? Hey, please let him know. Huh? <laughs> My friend laughed as I stood there calling attention to Peter Tan's ridiculously small advert. <laughs> Today, Peter Tan has been caught committing adultery pursuing young girls and sending them sexually explicit messages and proclaiming false prophecies. I truly regret knowing this man. <laughs>